the Metridium Fields, May 31st, 2008. Me and Rick swam out to the Metridium Fields, hunting up with the right white rocks to our right, and the edge of the breakwater to our left, straight out from the green roof building. It's a long swim, but not as bad as you would think. Neither of us had ever been here before. Had to get a picture of Rick next to the Metridium. I thought that was a pretty good idea, so I swung over in the same spot. Let him shoot a quick picture of me. Didn't realize I have such a pointy head. Metridium were huge. They're like three foot tall, easily. And they were everywhere. Any rock surface down there was covered. There were some patches of sand in between some of the largest pieces of rock. Most of those were filled with little uh, serpent star arms poking out of the ground, or sea feathers. Every rock island there reminded me of the term balmy, an Australian word. The multitude of life, completely overgrown by the metridium anemones. Lots of fish. I was kind of surprised at the large number of fish that would be found here. They were all the copper and white colored rockfish too. No other colorations to be found. Guess it makes sense if you were hiding in a bunch of white, that you'd want to be colored white. Every once in a while you could see one of the fish hanging around on top of one of the anemones. They're not real skittish things, are they? Must be an alpha fish thing or a dominance thing. Eventually, me and Rick had to call it. 